YouTube, welcome back to another video. I'm your boy Siddhul Barber, and this is take two of trying to film this video. YouTube, stick around till the end of the video. We got some big news, and yeah, peep the braids. So if you're an OG fan of the channel, you would know that this background, exactly where I'm standing right here, is where we shot our um, very first station tour that's on YouTube. It's doing uh, pretty well, so if you haven't seen it already, I suggest you see it as kind of a prerequisite to this video, because we're just gonna kind of go over the new um, studio update. So if you move over here, we still got the TV where it is. We used to have a shelf here with like um, a bunch of other stuff, but we got rid of it just for space and you'll see why we need extra space in a second here. And then over here we still got the three shelves. I'm still looking to add product to it. Um, just It's in the works right now. Josh and I are um, looking to make our own product soon here. So that's why it's kind of empty. We got this, um, which used to be over there. Again, if you haven't seen the first video, I highly suggest you go check it out because it was a banger. Uh, down here I got this uh, alarm clock or you know, clock, whatever. Got some business cards up here. If you're a client and you're ever here and you want to grab your business cards, um, don't hesitate. So this is the big news here. We got an extra chair. My chair's still over there, um, but I have a buddy who wants to cut hair. Maybe you guys will see him in some future vlogs. Maybe you won't, depending how long he sticks with this cutting thing. But uh, he came up to me. He's like, yo, I want to cut hair. How do I start? And he's like a very close buddy of mine, like a brother. So um, I started him off. He's cutting hair here. So really quickly, we're going to go through his setup. Uh, not too in-depth because that's his stuff. He's got a chair, hydraulics, uh, got the old, good old Versace cape mirror we found this uh, somewhere else in the house it was kind of broken we fixed it up and it's doing the job he brought the mirror um, this light here i have one on the other side we'll get into it in another minute from now because if you don't know lighting is the most important thing when you're cutting hair and then down here we got some of his tools uh, his shears his guards his clippers whatever whatever the broom uh, and then in the middle here we got the hot towel warmer my guard set this thing here it's actually used to like hold tools if you guys saw the original one, again, I'm going to keep referencing it. So if you haven't seen it, you're going to be kind of confused about the original station tour. It used to be over there holding up my clippers while they're on charge, but I have no need for it anymore because they all have like charging docks. So we have this thing um, that holds them up. Easier for me, easier for him. If you're getting a hair and beard or you're getting a beard done, I do use a hot towel. In these three drawers, we have some stuff that we won't go over. Uh, my cool care, his cool care, wax machine because we'd offer that too. And uh, yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, so over here is my chair, uh, pretty self-explanatory, I have a fatigue mat, or anti-fatigue mat. Over here, I forgot to mention, we have this cool little poster. It used to be uh, where you used to enter the, the shop from, then come down the stairs, but I thought, you know, big, big gap in the wall here, nothing was there, so we put it there. My mirror, neck strips, and this light. Lighting is actually really, really important, as I said before, because if you don't have lighting and you're cutting hair, there's going to be shadows. And you're gonna think it's a guideline, so you're gonna try to fade it out. But in reality, it's just a shadow. So we both have that there. Shout out to my sister. She bought this, made it for me. I thought it was pretty cool. Coming down here really quickly. I got this um, power extension bar from Walmart. It was like 12 bucks Canadian. Super clutch, super dope. This thing right here, which holds uh, towels that we use for hot towels, towels that we use to clean the shop, my blow dryer, and some wax. So over here, I used to have all of my um, boxes of all the clippers and trimmers, all the tools I bought but I had to get rid of those. Not fully get rid of them, I just have them in a different place, but I had to move them away from here just for like spacing and it's just less cluttered and I can work better. So I have my Bronze Series 9, my wall detailers, and I have the wall cordless senior. They all have their own charging docks, which attach them to here, so it's super cool. If your tools don't already have these like charging docks, I highly suggest you look for tools that do, or you can buy them third party too, because instead of uh, whenever you're done using them, you know, let's say oh, I need to flick out a line with a trimmer or I need to fade out with a clipper, I can always have them on charge so they'll never really be dead. Whereas otherwise I have to plug them in and sometimes you forget to plug them in while you're using them. So yeah, my main hitters, my starting three, you know, the lineup, you gotta have it Mando. And then right here I got the fade brush for clients' hairs. And then I have this one which I use on the clipper once so it has like too much stuff on it. For me personally, it's a big, big no-no to use the same one on both because that's kind of gross. So, you know, I always advocate for getting two, one for the head and one for the clipper. I uh, got this thing that holds the razors. Don't chuck them in the garbage. Very dangerous. Um, you have to buy it at the pharmacy. In Canada anyways, I'm sure it's the same in the States. Got the barbicide jar with the barbicide in it. And then we have some stuff that we use for facials, black mask, and my spray bottle for cutting the top. I, I keep these here because they're mandatory. I keep these here because just 
works for spacing. People ask about them, oh, what are those for? And then if they're interested in the service, they can go for it. Right here, got the two ring lights. They're not on, obviously, because if I turn all the lights on right now, I don't think you guys be too focused on the video. You'd be more focused on like the lighting and all the, you know, glare. So yeah. Now there's a big ass tool chest right here. Really quickly, um, this thing, it works, but I low key just keep it for show now. But uh, I got this barber tool chest. I'm not gonna go over everything because that would be so painful. Like not painful, but it would take so much time. And if you guys wanna see it again, the, the original video will be in the end card and I'll probably put like annotation on the screen and there'll be a link in the bio. So we'll run it up. But like pretty much here's the products that I use after each service. So like, let's say, oh, they want announcements or, you know, talk about or aftershave. And there's some stuff that, you know, I might need to use during get like um, shave gel, stuff like that. So, you know, just we'll get a quick little shot of this and then we'll move on. So over here, I got another light. Uh, when I'm actually cutting here and not like trying to shoot videos, all these lights are on at once to like, again, better help me see, fade better and, you know, less shadows. Over here, we have some cleaning supplies, which aren't used like during, before and after every haircut, but you know, they're mango. Got this towel that I use just in case there's a hair on my head. Uh, my friends over here, and there's more friends than this. I got these uh, neck strips. They're the blue ones that stick to one another because someone told me they'd be better. I don't know, maybe if I'm just dumb or if I'm overthinking it, I can't get them to stick, even though it's as simple as attach the blue one to the blue one, but we'll figure it out. It is what it is. Still got the bench here. We have my barber backpack, which I'm gonna take to Saskatchewan, which is gonna be a sick vlog. Not because we're going to Saskatchewan, but because we're gonna be doing there. So again, stick around till the end of the video, and I got some big news. The bench, the headrest, which I use when I'm like climbing people, mm, some gloves, got like three different sizes. The school that I was attending, MC College, they handed me these ones. They're so bad, man. And the tuition was like 16 bands. So such cheap gloves for such a high tuition. MC College, get your shit together. These nitro ones are solid, man. My hands are like medium size, not too big. And these are just awesome. I can barely tell they're there sometimes. So we're almost at the end of this. We have my mini fridge. In here you should keep water, maybe some beers for you know people. They're waiting, they wanna chill, they wanna drink it. Obviously no underage people. Got the goat, um, the rest in peace mamba. Um, whiteboard with some cool stuff. So you know if you're ever here, client, leave us a review on Google. Got the script for the original types of barbers, version one, but obviously like Josh and I got together and we made a better one. So that's just still here. Got a garbage bin and uh, yeah, so on to the news. So really quickly guys, I just wanna thank you before I start stating any of the news or any of the stuff that's happened with Josh and I recently. We both really wanna thank you guys for all the support on the channel. It's been insane. I know we said we'll post every week and you know, two, three videos a week. I swear we're gonna, we're gonna get there. We're getting there slowly but surely. And we recorded a lot of videos within the past few days which are in the vault which we're just like gonna edit and make them look prime time for you guys to see. So I just wanna thank you guys for the support. Secondly, I actually recently got an apprenticeship slash job at a barber shop out in Cochrane. It's about 30 minutes from where I live. So um, depending how you look at it, that's close, that's far. In my opinion, that's not too bad, 30 minutes out there. Really cool people, shout out to Noel Man for hiring me and really giving me the opportunity. I start soon here. And with that comes so much more room for growth, possibilities, opportunity content so if you guys want to see some oh day in the life of a barber in a barbershop vlog anything like that leave a comment i would love to make it i think i'll i think i'll do content there regardless but you know I, if you guys have any suggestions let us know also we've been seeing the comments of other suggestions for videos like the walmart clipper challenge and stuff like that we're gonna get out there trust me guys we're loading up big time and then last but not least we're gonna be heading up to saskatchewan um if you're not canadian you don't know where saskatchewan is it's a province uh i don't know if it's an important province it's pretty boring pretty dead but uh we're heading out there for a sneaker convention uh paulo is gonna be there so we're gonna link up with him it's gonna be dope man there's gonna be a vlog respect vlog Hopefully we'll link up with some barbers there, um, some sneaker heads. It's gonna be an overall dope experience. I'm really excited. I always wanted to go to Saskatchewan, never really had a reason, and now it gives me a reason, which is super, super dope, because I remember when Josh and I started this whole barber thing, uh, we, you know, then goal was always to do dope stuff like this and travel, and it's finally coming together, even though if it's just like within Canada, for example, we went to Edmonton, uh, Vancouver, well, BC area, including Vancouver and now Saskatchewan. So it's just like amazing to see like how much progress you can make in a year. Cause we've only been doing this for about a year. We're running up on it. 
And uh, yeah, I just want to thank you guys for the support, man. Thank you so much. That's going to be all for today, guys. Again, if you want to engage with Josh and I, our social on the screen in the description. Do not hesitate to reach out. We love it when you guys talk to us. Uh, more content coming soon. Thank you so much. Peace.